Hello, this is Kyle from Pure Storage, and today we're going to walk you through a demo on how you can use VMware's built-in storage policy-based management to uh, tier between Tier 0 VMs that belong on the Flash Array X and then Tier 2 VMs, which belong on our newly introduced Flash Array C. Um, both of these arrays give you the same enterprise-level availability, you know, six nines of uptime, uh, same feature set. Uh, it's just one of them is performance-optimized, while the other is capacity-optimized. We're going to use our HTML5 vSphere plugin to create these VMFS data stores. So just to keep it simple, we'll call one uh, VMFS data store X90. Um, that's for the Flash Array X. And as you can see here, you can also import protection groups directly from the Flash Array. But since we're keeping this simple, we will not do that today. Um, so Creating a data store through our plugin is really nice as well because it automatically mounts up your VMFS volume uh, to the appropriate host groups and does all those connections for you. Uh, so for the Flash Array C, we'll make that data store a little bit bigger um, since that is a capacity optimized array. Um, and again, we will not import any protection groups at this time. Okay, great. So now we've got our two example VMFS data stores defined, uh, C60 and X90. Now we will move on to creating some, some categories and then some tags that we will assign to those data stores. Um, so for this one, we'll create a category called, uh, we'll just call it tier zero. And then we'll create a second category called tier two. And then we'll populate those categories with a couple of tags. So we'll call this one tier two VMFS. And then we'll create another tag called tier zero VMFS. If you were using VVols, uh, you could add an additional tag here beyond these called tier zero VVols, tier zero, tier two VMFS, as well as doing some other neat stuff around replication and protection. Um, we'll go back to our X90 VMFS volume and assign it that tag that we just created to it. So X90 has the tier zero VMFS tag. And now the C60, the flash ray C, will have the tier two VMFS tag. So that now that that's all been assigned, we'll go ahead and create a VM storage policy uh, where we'll be able to help with placement with our tier zero and tier two VMs. So we'll call this uh, VM storage policy tier zero VMs. Uh, we will enable tag-based placement rules, and then we'll go ahead and uh, select our previously created tags. So here's tier zero VMFS. Um, you can add other tags as well, but keep it simple. Um, so there's our X90 that we just uh, assigned that tag. So that means that array is compatible with this storage policy. We'll repeat that. Uh, we'll call this one tier two VMs. Again, uh, tag based placement, uh, tier two, and then we'll go ahead and grab our tier two VMFS tag. Um, and then again, we should see, yep, there's our C60 VMFS data store. Um, so we are good to go. All right. With, with these two now created, we can see uh, there's, there's our storage compatibility. You can add and move in other VMFS volumes that make sense here as you add more tags to your category. Um, and where this is really useful is if we were to go to say, deploy a new VM from this template, let's call it CentOS tier two. Um, we'll connect up this uh, VM to a single host here. Um, and then as you can see, there's the, where the VM storage policy comes into play. So there's our tier zero. Um, that shows us the only X90 data store that's compatible. And then there's our C60, right? So by, this makes it very easy to place and manage and figure out uh, where if a VM should go um, based upon storage policy. That's all I got. Thanks for tuning in to this quick demo, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.